than anybody. And Lord, you love them more than anybody. I pray, Lord, that you touch each one of us who come together, their households, their families. And Father, I pray that you will move mightily on them today. I invite the Holy Spirit to come and move on this church today in great power. We believe it, Lord. Some of us need healing. Some of us need deliverance. Some of us just need a touch of you, a touch of joy this season. Father, we pray that the revival that you're beginning in this church, that is beginning in our hearts, that it will touch the nations of the world. We believe it. We have that vision. And we even believe that it's already beginning. Father, we thank you too for our family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, even some of our enemies. We pray, Father. We pray for the South African people, Lord God. We pray, oh God, just lift the people you've been praying for. We pray for Janelle Emery's mother, that her surgery would be successful. We pray for Matthew and Rita. We pray, Father, for those in our church who are sick. We pray for Mr. Baker and Ms. Williams. We pray for Shanda. We pray, Father, especially for those who are here. We thank you for Mr. Horace, Lord, that he's back with us. We thank you for bringing him through. Strengthen him, Father. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. There is none like you. We lift up these names to you, Lord. We pray for, for Deer's uh, uh, good friend, Elzinia, Lord, that you will comfort her and heal her. We pray, Father, oh God, for Miss Victor, that you will continue to heal and touch Miss, Miss Victor, Lord God, Mr. Victor's mother. Y'all don't know anybody in the church, anyone. Bruce, we pray for Bruce and we pray for Mary, uh, whom we visited in the hospital. We pray for them, that they are completely recovered, Lord. We pray for Gwen, Lord, oh God, that you would touch her and heal her. Lord, you know everybody what they need. But we pray that you touch each one today. Yes. Let your spirit move in this church. And God, let no man be exalted. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, sometimes when I'm up here, if I forget something, I only say, well, I don't forget a person in this church every morning. Every morning. Hallelujah. So don't worry, we won't forget you. And we will, you know, it's good to have a church where you know everybody. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I didn't know everybody to some degree. You know, God's got a, a plan for each one of us who are in this church. Because this church, I can tell you right now, was created by him. Amen, amen. For you. Yes, sir. You know, today, I, I want you to turn with me to a few scriptures. But I, I have to give you some background because I'm going to preach a message like this many times. If you haven't, if you've been here long enough, you know I've preached on the river of God a lot. I want to tell you, if you turn with me, you can turn while I'm talking here to Psalm 36. I'm going to start there. It's so much. But you know, the garden, in the garden, there was a river. There was more than one river. But there was one head river, probably. And the garden was God's garden. Now, it was an earthly garden. But there is a river that is a spiritual river that flows. And that river is the same river that you and I, if you haven't been born again, you need to be born again by the river of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is the reason why you and I came to Christ, because the river must have been flowing somewhere you went or had some experience in your life, and God's Spirit moved on you. The river of God is just like that river that flows out here in a way, except it's an earthly river. That river, as you know, I've said it many times, was founded by the Spanish when they so-called found it. Uh, you know, they call it the river of the Holy Spirit. We're right by that river. Yes. God planted this church by the river, and you heard the vision we had, because this church is going to be a church that's built on the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The river of the Holy Spirit is flowing right out there. If you were figuratively speaking, the Mississippi was called that. The Holy Ghost is something that churches just don't just do what they want to do. They allow the Lord to move. Yes. That's how the Holy Ghost comes in this church. Amen. When you see the power of God moving on someone in the front, when it, at toward the end, it's not a man. It's not. It's nothing going on here other than the power of God moving. Amen. Whenever you're in a church that says it's filled with the Holy Spirit, 
You should see some manifestation, feel some power of God moving through you. As I preach, if you're hungry for him, you can feel his spirit move on you. Yes. Yes. As his words come forth, they should be words of life. When the Spirit comes, He knows what you need, and He knows how to give it to you. He's called the Comforter. He's called the Counselor. That's right. Yes, yes. sir. But it's the river of God. Yes. It flows where He wants it to flow. Yes, sir. He don't go to every church. He doesn't go to everybody. I know it's coming here because it's Hallelujah. always been here. Hallelujah. 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 I can tell you that right now. Sometimes we get all dried up with our troubles and, and the world and, and everything. And we, we, we don't feel the spirit move because we, we got our minds on our problems. Amen. But you know, when they were out there in the wilderness, and there was a rock following them. And that rock was full of water mm -hmm. flowing in the desert. Yes. You see, God is always watering his people when yeah. they're thirsty. He knows that you got trouble and problems that are overwhelming, but he wants you to stay in the river. Yes. Yes, sir. Today, I know you're going through things as a tough season, but I know one thing, if you stay in the river, you're going to keep your joy. Come on, yes. sir. If you stay in the river, you're going to keep your blessings. Yes, sir. If you stay in the river, you're going to have more life, yes. even though you're going through a trial. Come on, yes. sir. Hallelujah. 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 You're going to have it because the river flows here yes, and through sir. you. Praise yes, God. I love the aspect God has given me to preach this message today is that the river brings blessings. Yes. The river of God brings blessings. Mm -hmm. And I want to begin reading a few scriptures and starting with uh, Psalm 36. And the Bible says in verse 5, Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens. Y'all yes. see where I am? Mm -hmm. Your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your justice like the great deep. O oh Lord, you preserve both man and beast. How priceless is your unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. Hallelujah. You give them drink from your river of delights. Yeah. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Yes. Listen. Let me tell you something. God wants you in this time of difficulties you might be in. It, I'm going to tell you something. He wants you to keep drinking from the river. Yes. I, 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 I'm going to have to tell you, uh, if you just keep on drinking from the river of the Holy Spirit, you keep on looking for the Holy Ghost to move on you. You keep seeking Him. You keep coming to church. Get your little dipper out. And, you know, and get your little cold water out of the well of life. Come on, sir. Sometimes we get thirsty and sometimes we get tired. You got to know how to get to the river. Yes, yes, sir. The river of God definitely runs through you and through here. If you want to drink today, you can ask him for it. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes we ask for God to get us out of all our troubles. He sees your troubles. But sometimes all you need is a little strength and a little joy yes. while you're going oh, yeah. through. Yeah. Yes, some things you just got to go through. Yes, sir. You know, I pray and pray sometimes that we have crisis after crisis just like everybody in our family. Mm -hmm. But you know, my prayer is not always that God deliver me from my crisis, but give me the strength to survive it. Yes, sir. Yes. Give yes, me sir. a drink from the well of life. Yes, yes sir. Sometimes there are things you just got to go through. Yeah. Yes, sir. You just got to go through it. Mm -hmm. Now, no one likes to go through anything. But I was watching a depiction of the Lord's death on the cross. And everybody, it's a scientific thing on the History Channel. And they were talking about how did he die? There were so many ways he could have died. And I was watching the suffering they depicted of the crucifixion and how they were showing how much he went through. You see, but the Bible says he did that for the joy that was set before him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have to understand, you're not going to endure more than what he endured. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come on. That Jack. suffering, if you ever saw them, how they try to depict that, it is unbelievable six hours. Mm -hmm. My Lord. They say, how did he die? He died at the right moment that he was supposed to die. Three o'clock. Mm. Wow. Yep. They're always trying to figure out how. It, some say his heart burst. Uh, one of the studies I had that I mentioned before is hypovolemic shock. Fluid just built up in him. We know that he suffered a long time on the cross. And we know because he was God, if you're wondering why he could still say something at the end, it's because of who he was. Yes, sir. That's right. 
My Lord. These clowns running around here trying to figure out how could he say that in all that suffering? Because he was Jesus, the Lord. That's yeah. right. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on, say anything. Yeah. That's yeah. right. He knew his appointed time and moment. They wondered, how did he know at that moment he was going to die? Because it was 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It was appointed that he died yes. Yes. at that time. Yes, my Lord. But that suffering he went through was because he saw the joy set before him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 You and I are going to go through things not worse than what he did. Hebrews, uh, I like to say that's one of Lucinda's favorite scriptures. He says, you know, you, you're going to go through some things, mm -hmm. but you must endure. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You must endure. Come on, Jesus. One scripture says, I think it's Psalm 30, weeping may last for a night, yes. but yes. joy Lord, comes come in the morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I want you to see the river does for you, the river brings you that peace, mm -hmm. that joy. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Well, you got to go through it, but you can go through it with the Lord, with yes. it. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I got to tell you more about it come on, so that you can understand. You're wondering why you, why, you, why you don't feel blessed. When you look around and you see what everybody else has, you really are blessed. Yes, yes. yes. But the river will bring you even more life and Come more on. blessings. Yes. I want to read that verse one more time. You give them drink from your river of delights. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Do you delight in the Lord? Yes. Oh, if you just delight in him, he'll give you refreshing for your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 You see, you're more than just flesh. Matter of fact, you're more spirit than you are anything. Hmm. Hallelujah. 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 And today, you need to get in the river to be refreshed. Yes, you're going through trials. Mm -hmm. But say, I need a little drink from the river today. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 The river of God, it passes through here. If you turn with me to Psalm 69, 65. I give you this scripture, and I've been have, I have it a lot. There was a time when I tried to understand why I was going through something. Uh, I thought it was something I didn't deserve, which we all think that, don't we? Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, most of the time we don't go through things we deserve. We just got an adversary out there. And I was going through this very big trial, me and my family. I never really go through much by myself. <laughs> There's always somebody with me. And I was, we were going through this trial with no work, didn't know what we were, how we were going to pay our bills, didn't know anything. And the Lord had me to memorize Psalm 65 in the midst of my trial. Mm -hmm. In the midst of having, not sure if we're going to have anything. Mm -hmm. He just told me to memorize Psalm 65. My, my, my. There's a verse in here that I want you to understand. At the end of the year, I almost get this chapter every single end of the year. <laughs> I very seldom miss the chapter, this particular part of the Bible. And I always get it, and the Lord always reminds me, no matter how hard we work and how much we have to go through, he always reminds me how he crowns the years. Yes. And then, you see, Psalm 65. Come on. I don't want to read the whole thing for the sake of time, but let me see if I can find specifically where I want to go. Psalm 65, verse 9. He says, you, are, you care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For so you have ordained it. You drenched its portals and leveled its ridges and softened it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year, say crown the year, crown with the year. your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. Listen. He crowns the year. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Every end of the year, he makes me look back to see how he provided everything I needed. My Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Every year, no matter how hard you work and how much you struggle, he always likes to tell you, I'm going to crown the year with an abundance. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you blessed. Yes. I mean, I don't care about all this money and how you give it and doing this and doing that. All I know is when the river comes through, God wants you blessed. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Now, it'd be nice to show God some love sometimes. Yes, sir. And give to him and still it won't all the time, right? Yes. But I can tell you right now that the Lord is anxious to bless you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. He's anxious to, to crown the year with blessings. Yes. He's anxious for you to look back and be thankful for what he did do. 
So I look forward to being more blessed in the coming year. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. You got to get that attitude. If I can just stay in the river, I can get everything that I need. I can breathe better. Yes, I might go through something, but God will provide for me. Oh, yes. a, you don't have to turn to all the scriptures, but in, in Ezekiel 47, it says, wherever the river goes, there is life. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Wherever the river flows, there's life. And Jesus said, I came to give you life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. The river flows through here. If you want more life, you just ask God for a drink as I'm preaching today. Yes, we are. This is your day to ask God for something. Come on, Jesus. Say, God, I need some of that river. Yes. I need something to refresh my yes. spirit. Yes. Oh, my. Thank I, I'm thirsty yes. for yes. you. Yes. Oh, God. Thank you. This river leads me to the city of God. This yes. river is going to flow through the middle of the yes. streets. Come on, Jesus. I need a drink from the river right now. Yes. It's an eternal river. It flows from the throne of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the river can be in you if you want to drink. Hallelujah. The river can be right in you. Yes. It's living water. Come he on. told that woman at the well, if you knew who it was that was talking to you, Hallelujah. you would ask him. Come on, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For living water. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just need to ask him for it. We always say, God, deliver me from my trial. Ask him for the strength to survive. It. Hallelujah. Ask him for some refreshing. Yes. Ask him for some joy. Yes. You can go through it if you give him joy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Thank Sometimes you. we're just so busy asking God, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. Mm. What you need to do is have a little drink. Yes. I'm thirsty. thirsty. Yes. Hallelujah. See, some of these things, God knew you were going to go through them before you got there. Yes. And he knows he's going to bring you out in due time. Yes. But what you need to do is say, God, I need some drink from the river. Right? Yes. Come on. I'm thirsty. For you. Yes, yes, sir. yes. Come, Lord. Come, oh, yes. Lord. Come, Lord. Refresh my spirit. Yes. yes. I need a river flowing through here today. Come oh, on. Oh, yes. come on. Y'all need to get yes. a little drink. Oh, I don't yes. know if you got enough trouble. I got enough. Well, I don't need a drink. Yes. Oh, oh Jesus. Some of y'all be looking at that wine and thinking that's going to help you. But that ain't going to help you. Come on, sir. Ephesians 5, 18 says, Do not get drunk on wine, yeah. which yeah. leads to debauchery. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Or decrease. That's right. Yeah. My Lord. Instead, be filled yes. with the Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 You want to get up? You don't drink a downer. That's right. You drink from the river. Hallelujah. Yes. You drink from the river. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Why do you think they call that the river of the Holy Spirit out yes. there? Because God knew he was going to do it here. Uh -huh. yeah. He know what he's doing along the river yes. of, of Louisiana. Yes, yes sir. Hallelujah. He's doing a special thing. Yes. Every tree planted by the rivers of water Hallelujah. Yes. produces fruit yes. in a season. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We have a season because he planted this tree. Yes, yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. yes sir. Hallelujah. Right by the river. Right Hallelujah. By the river. You need to just get in and get a drink. Yes, yes. sir. Yes. Naaman didn't even want to get in the Jordan. He had leprosy. Halfway dead. But so full of pride. Didn't even, didn't even want to get in the water. His servant had to tell him, you know what? If you really got to get yourself together, man. Yep. If, if, why, why, if he tell you to go to the rivers of Damascus, you'd be more than happy to go there with your pride for self. <laughs> he told you to get in that little low river of the Jordan. Yeah. yeah. That little sprinkle of the water of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Flowing down off of Mount Hermon mm -hmm. is the river. That, when that snow melts, it flows down. Through the joy. My, my, my. Come on. You can wait in it sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, Naaman, you got to go dip yourself in Israel's river. Mm -hmm. You got to get down. Yes. Not one time, not two times, but seven, seven times. times. Yes, seven. seven. Right? Mm. Hallelujah. Sometimes y'all get, get off your little pride horse mm -hmm. and say, Lord, I got to give the river to that. Yes. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to get a river today. I ain't worried about what nobody else say. That's right. I need a drink yes. of the river of life. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not going to leave here today until I get a drink. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't mean bartender. Jesus is the bartender. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You just ask him for a drink. If you're thirsty, you will receive. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Just ask him for it. Yes. Don't try to go through these battles and drain yourself of all your strength. My, my, I mean, I have done that and it ain't worth it. Yeah. That's right. Ask God to help you, fill yes. you. Yes. Yeah, you got a lot on your mind and a lot to do. But ask God to fill you today. Yes. yes. That river flows through here, I can guarantee you that. 
Mm -hmm. You just say, Lord, fill me. Yes. Hallelujah. When I finish preaching this message, you're going to get filled. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 No, I can tell the people who are filled because they're going through trials and still laughing. Yes, sir. They're going through Thank trouble you. and they still lift their hands and praise Hallelujah. Them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That's the river that's doing that. Yes, sir. That's the power of God moving through them. Yes, sir. That's bringing life. Yes, sir. Life more abundantly. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I mean, the disciples used to sing while they chained to the walls in jail. My, my, my. Still singing. Yes, sir. Yep. Some of them were singing. Some of the martyrs, the uh, Christian martyrs, have gone to the grave, gone to being beheaded yes, and singing. Yes, Come sir. On. Jesus. They don't want the world. I don't understand this kind of joy. My, mm -hmm. my, my. That you could be persecuted and still feel joy. Yes, yes sir. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You know, Jesus said, you know, you, you're going to go through a whole lot of things. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, he said that. But he said, be of good cheer. Yes. For I have already been oh, come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You better not be tried for like Naaman. Hallelujah. You doing something wrong? My Lord. Hallelujah. It's my big ears. Thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. 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 Glory. So tonight, today, if you're going to go through this season, you know you got some problems. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just need to drink from the river. Yes. 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 Don't yes. be no little coward and say, I can't go through this. <clears throat> no, with God. I can do all things through yes. Christ. Yes. yes. Come on, yes. Jesus. Yes. I can do this thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. I can do this thing. Hallelujah. I can do it. If God's yes. with me, I can do it. Don't yes. ever say, what's confronting you? I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. I don't know if so-and-so dies. I don't know how I'm going to live. I know how you're going to live. You're going to drink from the river. Come on, sir. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 I don't know if this happens to me. I don't know how I'm going to make it. You're going to make it because you're going to drink from the river. Come on. Hallelujah. Nelson Mandela had to drink from the river those 27 years in prison. Yes. Something was sustaining him. Yes. Somebody asked, was he a Christian? The guy, a pastor on TV, said, yes, indeed, he was a Christian. Come on. They love to question our Christianity because you go get help from communists. You go where you can get it from. Y'all ain't giving him none. Mm -hmm. My Lord. He wanted his people free. Yes. yes. If yes. Fidel Castro gonna help him, Fidel, come on. Yes. Come on. That was Nelson Mandela's attitude. Yep. You see, you need to go where you can get your help from. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> you go to the hills, that's where you're going to get your help from. Yes, hallelujah. yes. Why well, I'm saying that, but anyway. Yes, come on, Jesus. Today, I just want your spirit refreshed. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. If you leave here and you say, Pastor, I'm still dry, I didn't preach good enough. Come on. Hallelujah. I want you to be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Not with drunk on wine, but filled with the Spirit. I want you to have some living water out of the river of God. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. yes a river out there, but there's a spiritual river in here. Yes, sir. It's flowing right through you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, it's in you. Come on, Jesus. That river is the reason why you've been born again. Hallelujah. That river is moving through you now. Come on, Jesus. Jesus was baptized into Jordan. But guess what happened? When the heavens opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got baptized. I hope he descended on you. Yes. Because it's not just that water that, that, that's for the forgiveness of sins as a symbol, but it's the water of the Holy Ghost that you need to be looking for. Hallelujah. It's Holy Ghost water. Yes. So I need some Holy Ghost water. Need some some Holy Ghost water. Not Holy water that you're going to make the sign of the cross. I need Holy Ghost water. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That, that sign of the cross is not. I need Holy Ghost water. Yes. I'm thirsty for you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You go with me to Revelation 22. I got plenty, but thank you, Lord. Skip the verse. Come on, Jesus. Go to the end. Thank you, Lord. Hey, look. <clears throat> I want you to be hungry and thirsty for the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You think he has forgotten you. He hasn't forgotten you. Yeah. You think you got to get it all right for him to give you a drink? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I, I could tell you times, my wife can tell you, how the Holy Spirit would hit me. I'd be cutting up, falling all down the floor. Oh, just, just cutting up. I didn't know what I was going through. I'd just be, just, just in the middle of all kind of trials, laughing. One day I was in this church who didn't believe in that, and the Holy Ghost came upon me in a big old meeting. We had some of the leaders, and the power of God hit me. The river came, and it touched me. 
I fell on the floor and I laughed so hard. Loud. About 300 people were in there. And they were not happy with me laughing. I just could not stop laughing. Hallelujah. I laughed. My belly was sore. I laughed so hard. They, had to, they wanted to take me out of there and punish me. But I realized sometimes you need a little joy Hallelujah. in the midst of trials. Hallelujah. You need to stop worrying. Sometimes God gives you just what you need. Yeah. I needed some joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I knew how to just let him do what he got to do to me. Come on, Jesus. He knows what I need before I ask for it. Hallelujah. Sometimes you be so much worried about your trial, you forget that he's ready to give you some water from the river. Hallelujah. Sometimes he'll give you the power to overcome from the river. Yes. Thank there is a river. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank and you, it's full of life. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. All you got to do is ask for it. Wherever that river flows, says life. 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 It's life and more life. Yes. More life. In Revelation 22, the river is about to flow to the, to the end for me and you. Well, not the end, but it's a continuous river. Yes. Verse 1 says, Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life. Yes. As clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in the city. His servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more light, no more night, they will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. Listen, there is a river <coughs> flowing from the throne of God as I speak to you now. Yes. It's the same river you're going to see coming between those golden streets mm -hmm. of New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. It's the river of the Holy Spirit. My yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That river is flowing right now from the moment Jesus gave up his spirit. He told me, I will send you the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, the Counselor. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a river. And there are trees planted by that river whose leaves will heal you. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Wherever the river flows, it's life. It's a spiritual river. Yes. The old people knew about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They Hallelujah. sang a lot of songs about the river. Hallelujah. They even sang some blues songs about the river. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> but they knew Amen. there was a spiritualness. Yes. They knew there was a flow that moved through them. They knew when they were in the field, something sustained them. Mm -hmm. They knew when they were persecuted, something was keeping them from falling. Mm -hmm. Something kept them going. So you and I got here today, and all of a sudden, we don't need the river no more. My Lord. I'm telling you right now, you need the river. Yes. And if you ask for a drink of living water today, he'll give it to you. Yes. I want you to read this last verse for me, and we're going to get ready to pray. And you pray like you're hungry for him and thirsty for him, and he will come upon you, and he will fill you. Yes. Hallelujah. The apostles were scared to death in Acts chapter 2. But to say the Holy Spirit came yes. and filled them all. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He will fill you. Yes, mm -hmm. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you ask him. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hey, look. It says in verse 17, The Spirit and the bride say what? Come. 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 And let him who hears say come. come. Whoever is thirsty, let him what? Come. come. And whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Free. Thank you. Free. Crystal clear water. Yes. It goes right through your flesh, right into your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're dry and you're thirsty in this life, God has a remedy. He has a river. Yes, sir. That if you ask for a drink of living water, yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 You will be born with all the husbands you have. You just need a drink. Yes, for whatever reason, I might have had all my husband that one more thing, but I want some of that living water because I'm tired of living like that. Right. Mm -hmm. I need something to make me live better. Mm -hmm. I need living water. Mm -hmm. I need yes, sir. Today, you got to understand, there is a river. Yes. Wherever it flows, it's life. Yes. 
Hallelujah. It's amazing how many great civilizations were always planted by rivers. Egypt was the Nile. Hallelujah. Oh, and Ur, the Chaldees, where Abraham was from, it was the Euphrates and the Tigris. Right here, it's the Mississippi. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, you need to know that the city of God has a river. Yes. And you in that city. The church of God has a river to you. It is the river of the Holy Ghost. But he ain't going to bring and dump water on you. You have to ask him. Hallelujah. Hey, look, don't look at your problems right now. When we get ready to pray, I want you to say, Lord, I need some living water. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. I am thirsty. thirsty. You say, come, I'm coming. Oh, yes, Lord. If you sit down, you say, Pastor, I am so tired. I'm so beaten down. I need some living water right now. Yes. If you are thirsty, like that, when that music starts, you come up here. You walk up here. Or if you're sitting down and you don't feel like coming, ask him. But I know when you come up here, you're going to get it. If you're sitting down, it may be an act of faith just to sit there. If you're like I was, I ran. Come on. I ran for what I want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to die on the cross for the river to flow to me. The least I can do is get out of my seat and ask him for it. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. There is a river. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't understand how it flows. All I know it comes from the throne. All I know is spiritual. Yes, Lord. All I know it can revive your soul. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you, whatever you're going through, you're gonna make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the river flowing through you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, look, you know these trials didn't come because you want them. But God will come if you want him. Yes, he give you what you need. He'll refresh your spirit. On, and let me tell you something. It ain't magic. You just asking for it. I, I, I guarantee you, you will receive. He gladly will give you a drink from the river. He said, Come. You who are thirsty. Are you thirsty? How many of y'all are thirsty? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus. I am very thirsty. I'm so thirsty. I'm dry up here. I need him every single day. Yes, sir. I can't live my life without a drink in is you in here and you say, Lord, I am so thirsty. Yes. This water down here, it ain't good anyway. But I need some living water from the river. Yes. 